What's up, wonderful people? How are you doing? You're well, right? I hope you are. I am I'm fine. I thank God. I am so grateful for every day that I wake up. I'm so grateful because I know God is not done with me. And I know that I still have much, much more to do in this earth. Because every day you wake up, you know there is hope. There's hope. It doesn't matter the condition of your life at that particular moment. It doesn't matter what you're going through at that particular moment. When you wake up, know there's hope. Welcome back again to yet another beautiful video. My name is Esther Njao. You subscribe, you kindly subscribe to my channel. Uh, that's the name I use on my channel. Subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified once I upload my videos. I make videos every Tuesday, the inspirational videos. They are videos that I talk about simple ways on how you can overcome everyday challenges based on the word of God. I hope you're going to be transformed. I hope you're going to learn and I know that God is going to bless you. Today is not different. I'll be discussing on many issues and how to overcome overcome them without losing your hair, your mind. You know they can be a bit hectic and today we are going to be discussing on tips on how to overcome nanny dramas and how you can do it without losing your mind so welcome again make sure you subscribe make sure you like and share this video share it with a friend that you know are going through nanny dramas and i know you're going to be transformed thank you so much and enjoy every bit of this video Like I've said in my introduction, uh, every time we become parents, or yeah, every time uh, you, 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 that chapter of your life comes and you become a parent, the very th one thing that most of the women deal with are nannies. And they are wonderful people, they are people we can't live without. And they are, they, you can either choose, most people choose ladies, you can choose a lady or you can choose a man based on your. You, you how you feel it or how you want it but i'm talking about uh, those who choose i've never done a man so i'm going to be talking in particular of what i've dealt with and how i've learned based on what i've experienced i told you from the beginning i give you examples and i give you ways on how to deal with things based on what i have dealt with and what god has laid in my heart so i know most of you have dealt with nanny issues i personally have dealt with them and i'm going to give you ways on how to overcome them without losing your mind i'll give you like around 10 tips and i know they are going to be they are going to transform how you see nannies so my point number one is that you need to understand where they are coming from like you need to understand their background and uh, understand that they don't think the same way that you do most of the people i come across i hear them saying that they want a nanny from the village or maybe a nanny who has never worked again and they want to teach them and then they can be what you want them to be and sometimes when they come you need to understand where they are coming from there are things in your house they are going to find they have never come across they are the places they have not never gone before you are going to to introduce them to a whole new world things they have not experienced they are going to find microwaves microwaves in your house they are going to find a fridge in your house they are going to find all those sort of things iron box all those things and you ex accept uh, expect them to handle all those things so before anything else you need to understand where they are coming from don't just assume they are going to learn in a day or maybe assume they are going to do all these things perfectly so when you understand that where they understand their background that way it's going to be easy for you to handle them once you understand where they are coming from and point number two don't expect perfection don't for a minute for one second think they are going to do whatever you tell them to do in a perfect way you also are not perfect so uh, we are not perfect so they were whatever they do don't expect them to be perfect especially in the first first days don't expect them to do things the way you expect them to be done they in, the, in a learning process and you give them time to learn and they are going to learn whatever you're going to teach them but in the first first days of their coming or when they first start living with you don't expect any perfection as a matter of fact they are going to mess up big time they are going to mess up big time because like i said in my point number one you're introducing them it's a new 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 it's a new it's a new environment for them so don't expect any perfection from them and my point number three 
Give them time to learn and cope with the new environment. Just give them time so that they can learn. You know, like when you go to a new job, you have landed yourself a new job and you've never uh, you have never worked in certain a certain field in your life before. So you as a person you expect that these people are going to give you time to learn and adapt to the environment that you've been that you've been entrusted with, okay? So it's the same case with our house health. When they come from the village or to another workplace and then they land into your house, don't just give them time. Give them time to learn. Give them time to learn and give them time to cope with that new environment. It is going to take up, you know, every time we go to a new workplace, we are given a probation of three months. So you can roughly give them the same. Don't expect them to come today and expect them to work the way you, you expect them to in the first, first days. So give them time to learn and cope with that new environment. Number, number four, I realize they are just that house helps. That is one thing you should realize. They are not coming to take over your house. You are still the owner of the house, but you, should, you shouldn't hand over everything to them. Understand they are just house helps. And like, let me give you another illustration of a husband and a wife. A husband is the head and the wife is the helper. So when it comes to the house, house chores or everything, house manage, ma management, you as a woman are the manager of that house when it comes to that particular area, particular area. So when this house help comes to your home, don't expect her, don't hand over all the duties to her and you wash your hands and you're like, hey, I have a house help. No, you still have that. It is your, it is, it, that is your house. That is, that is your area. So this, this lady or this guy, let me say the lady, this lady just comes to help. It is not like you hand over everything to her. Like there are things that you, you do, do things. And then there are things that you, she chips in uh, there are things that you chip in and help as a manager but make sure you train her make sure you yeah yeah like you don't not like training her per se make sure you don't hand over all the housework or everything that needs to be done to your house help you are still the manager of that house you need to take a, uh, a day or two maybe if you can't uh, uh, if you can two days make sure you spare sometimes on sunday if you're not working on sunday or maybe if you don't work on saturdays and just maneuver you around your house and find out what needs to be done how you need it to be done and you may you can show them how you need them to be done but even if you show them make sure you do them yourself because they are things that they won't do to perfection that is where you are there if this house so this 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 house help decide to leave your house is not going to collapse or maybe things you're not going to walk away with her simply because she decided to leave you are the owner of that house and you 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 need to do the most part i keep telling people do the most part let this girl know that with or without you the lives of that family have to move on so don't hand over your managerial work to the house help simply because she arrived uh make sure you do your part and let her do her part Number five, know your role and help where you can. Know your role and know where you can. This this point and the first, the last one I talked about is more or less the same. But knowing your role is knowing what you can do. Like I, I'll give you like in my case, I have a small baby, so I don't expect my house help to wake up before me, because. I'm the person. I'm, I'm the first person to wake up in my house. I, I I wake up at four. I make sure that I do my devotion, and then after my devotion, I I will I'll cook for my baby. I'll prepare breakfast for them. I will prepare their porridge and then all those things that they need during the day. And then after that, before I leave, that's when I wake up my house help so that she can I can hand over now whatever that needs to be done. And she'll do it so don't don't know no know the part that you should do and do it well you should know your role and her role number six realize they are human beings just like you realize they are human beings just like you just the way you did you wouldn't like to be mistreated don't mistreat these ladies they are just human beings i remember there was a last last month uh, my house help told my son it's going to be it's, it's the the following day is her birthday and so my son when i came back in the evening my son told me and but the auntie nikesho so i just i just uh, I, I just asked what i can do because she has been nice yes we have had our share our fair share of challenges we fought here and there but that has not stopped us from doing whatever that we do has not stopped us from 
working together so i told i i i i i, re I realized she had a problem applying a uh, powder and lipstick and she has this other problem of putting on cutex and they would peel off you know she, most of the time she's doing house chores and it concludes what i being in being touching what i read now and then so i that was a challenge i had noticed and another thing she was doing white powder she's darker than me so she used to look funny so on her birthday just bought her. it is something simple but they are uh, they appreciate it so well i bought i just bought her a powder i bought her powder her color i bought her a lipstick that suited her skin tone and i i paid for her pedicure uh, so i she appreciated simple things that make them appreciate just know that realize they are just human beings just like you the way you'd like people to treat you nicely treat them nicely in the book of colossians 4 1 it says master masters give masters give your board master give your board servant what is just and fair knowing that you too you also have a master in heaven give them what is just and fair know that you also have a master in heaven so treat them like human beings they are okay not treat them like human beings they are human beings that need to be treated in fairly and in justice do you understand oh yeah that is point number six my point number seven is set boundaries set boundaries let them know where you draw your line like you can't go beyond here you can't do this and this set boundaries like when you when when, when is their day off when does it start when does it start what time are they supposed to leave the house what time do you expect them back set boundaries and let them know this is this and this is how i want it done and that is going to make your work easier just set boundaries what they should do and not do how they should communicate to how you, they how they are they, the way they should communicate whether they have a right to ask for something from your husband in case you're not around just set those boundaries don't just like let them do things their way make sure you set your boundaries number eight is a question that most people keep asking should i allow my house help in my bedroom what do you think actually comment down below whether it's just tell me whether you allow your house guy or your your house manager in your bedroom I'll just tell me down below comment down below whether you you it is any how do you view it like is it okay to allow them to your bedroom but i'll give you my point of view my point of view is this if you have if your baby has a different room why not you can allow them in their room if your child has their a different room it is okay everything is going to be in their room so there's no need of them coming into your bedroom but if you have your child is in your bedroom they need to pick them up whenever they were uh, when they wake up in the morning and maybe let them to bed when they sleep i think uh, you should yes they should you should let them in but make sure you lock your important documents lock them somewhere that only you and your spouse can access them don't just or maybe if you are a single mom only you can access them and maybe people you trust but for house help, make sure you keep them away. Their birth certificate, your certificates, all those important documents, all, all of them. Make sure you lock them up where only you can access them or maybe your significant other. But uh, get it going into your bedroom. If your child is still in your room, they, 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 somehow they need to go and get the baby, maybe put them to sleep. There's no problem with them getting into your bedroom. But when your spouse is not around when your spouse is around they should not get into your bedroom but don't let your house house help go to your bedroom and make your bed and do all those things that is not their job that is not their job that is not your job that is not what i'm talking about i'm talking about just getting in you know the people who get in and take your clothes and do all those sort of things you know you understand but if they you know there's this thing people say if i can trust them with my children when i'm not around why should i not trust them in your bedroom it is not a problem letting them in your bedroom the important thing is that you make sure your doc your your, your important documents are not like you can you have not exposed them keep them somewhere safe keep them well lock them up if you need to but make sure that they are not there and you're not putting them you're not you're not exposing them to her like she can excuse me they, she can ex access them so letting her in is not a problem but make sure all your documents are in place number nine but comment down below comment down below whether you should or you shouldn't that one i'm leaving it out actually it's like a question i'm leaving it out i'm just giving my view 
but it has worked for me i don't i had i she, my house help gets into my bedroom but she cannot access our documents I've, keep them safe if you don't have a safe place to put them take them to the to your village they are better at your shago keep them let you let your mom or dad or, or your your guardian handle them number nine if you have small children who need attention like close attention cooperate and plan together with your house help like i have an eight month old baby so like i've said how we how we how we handle that i am the one who wakes up early i make sure that i prepare everything the child needs actually i don't like leaving my house help I have my house manager with all those house chores a lot of them like i we prepare enough supper that they can eat in the following day they can have it for lunch the following day so there's no most of the times we do if we, if it, we if the food finishes it's okay they are going to prepare lunch but most of the times they have lunch that they are she doesn't need to cook again do you understand so that they can have enough time because my son is now he's cruising he's cruising right now he's walking around the house nini she he he needs close close attention so i make sure that i help where i can when i come in the evening then she can continue with whatever she's doing and now i'll take over because i need to spend time with my children so that time is when we bond with my kids so when i come in the evening now she can do all the other things but during the day i make sure she has minimum job as possible so point number nine cooperate cooperate and make plans on how you can help each other especially when your kids when you have a young baby or you have young babies because they need close attention and my last point pray for wisdom pray for wisdom because sometimes oh man these ladies can they can they can be like they can how do i put it when is a kwatuna maneno just ask god to give you wisdom wisdom to design whatever is going on wisdom just to understand them wisdom so you can cope cope with them just the way they are ask god to give you wisdom actually that is not my last point i have one extra point uh, you should teach your children how to respect the house help. Teach them how to respect the house help. In the book of Proverbs 22, 15, it says, Foolishness is bound up in the heart of a child. The rod of correction will drive it far from him. Whatever they are doing right, that, that, that foolishness that is in them, you are going to, when they speak rudely to your house help, make sure you punish them in her presence and tell them not to do such and that that when you do that they are going to they are not going to know where to 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 draw the line they are not they are not going to insult or just throw words at her and don't respect her so teach your kids how to respect her let them like my my nanny they are the my nanny is a very they are very good friends with my children and yeah they just they just they bond they just bond because i've trained them I, if you haven't watched my video on positive parenting or parenting in a godly way, kindly do so. You're going to find it in my follow, follow, follow my check my my YouTube. That's the video I did last week. It has two parts, part one and part two. Kindly follow, and you'll understand what I'm talking about. So teach your children how to respect your nanny. Don't just let them throw words and do whatever they want, and they can just walk walk away freely. No, teach them to respect their nanny those are some of the points that i've shared and those are the some of the points that have worked and from the moment i start applying i i started applying these principles i'll call them principles I've, my nanny has been with me for almost three years now and before that i used to have nannies and they would just two months if they leave one month and leave another one stayed for two days but that one i'm the one who just told her to leave but when you apply positive principles and you work together like you work as a team with your house help things are going to work out well so those are the points i've given thank you so much for watching i hope you're going to be helpful